here's what we have going on here is a is a quid pro quo uh-huh. sort of thing going on behind the scenes, and it's not getting a lot of attention. It 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 could be a quid pro quo, right? We don't know that anything illegal has happened yet. There have been a few. Th- no, we don't. In fact, that's a great point that you make. There have been a few different things that have not looked good for the governor lately, but they're not attractive. Medicaid fraud. Mm. Like, nobody's freaking out about that. We probably should be because it's our tax dollars, but that's not invasion at the border. Right? It's not like she hit somebody driving home last night in her car. Right. It's largely paperwork. Which is boring, but critical. In fact, then I see, let me see, let me see. Uh, even, oh yeah, here's another, school vouchers. That's not even sexy. Like, that's a hot topic in Arizona right now. That's not a sexy issue. That's not big. So I'm looking at some of the things that she's got going on. And there's something else. She's had a bad week, by the way. We'll talk about her very bad week uh, coming up here after 2.30. But this one is a potential pay for play, a quid pro quo. Mm -hmm. The idea is that a, uh, what is, again, I'm going to use layman's terms here, a foster home made massive donations to Democratic Party Hobbs and her inauguration fund. And in return, they were able to see a rate increase. In other words, the state's going to pay them more for what they do with these foster kids that DCS places into their Whereas some got deep-sixed. All all the others. Others did not get increases, or if they did, much smaller. So why isn't this a big deal? I mean, when you think about this, Joe, this has some of the elements of a big deal, right? It's got kids being treated poorly. It's got corruption involved in it it's got uh, uh, a a cover-up i mean my god if we had somebody we called deep throat we'd say oh we've got something bad going on here we've got foster gate you just hit on one of the big ones okay what is it it's boring yeah it's it's not sexy it's not a you know it's not um you know 50 kids dead or 50 kids starving in group home. She didn't start a fire and burn down the group home, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't uh, didn't, uh, inject them with some sort of uh, toxin or something, Mm -hmm. right? The the ones that I thought of were the amount, too. It's $400,000 that we're allegedly talking about. Well, $400,000 was the amount of the donation here. But donations aren't illegal, and especially from big corporations, that happens all the time. And if it was $4 million, that would be... A little bit sexier, but it's four hundred thousand dollars. So it, it's like mm, you know, yeah, it's it's not four dollars, but yeah. it's not a huge amount. Um, we've heard and seen things like this before, so it's you know, it's dark money. It's kind I've of, heard dark money all the time during Ducey's uh, right tenure, right? That so was it's not thing. the first or last time we've heard about you know um, companies trying to curry favor yeah. from people once they're in office. And the other thing that I point to is there's no smoking gun yet. So it's all Great allegations. Point. We can't prove anything. And you were talking about spin and what was it? Non-spin or un- unspin the spin? I don't know. I make this crap up as I go and I forget it as soon as I say it. Uh, man, I wish I could do that. Yeah. But the governor's office is saying, hey, there's nothing to see here. The governor had a relationship with with Sunshine going back for years. Uh-huh. In other words, we've been cronies for a long time. No, we've been on the up and up for a long time. And she, you know, she is a, gosh, why do I keep saying, you know? I don't know, Joe. You know? Here's the thing. If I'm elected mm-hmm. and uh, and I'm the governor now mm-hmm. and I say, oh, I have a radio request from the other station and I deny it, but I see your radio request because Bonneville and I go way back. You know, KTAR and I go way back. Mm-hmm. That would be playing favorites, wouldn't it? That would be on its face. Right. Oh, there's nothing illegal about that, by the way. A, a, a politician can pick and choose whomever they want to uh, speak to. We know because Hollywood Hobbs doesn't talk to local uh, media. media. She only talks to the, the, the nationals. But, but that would be playing favorites. So what if I go way back with Bonneville and then Bonneville makes a big donation to me and then all of a sudden I give them access. Oh, and I'm also going to put uh, somebody on their board of directors in charge of seeing something else. I'm going to pay them a massive salary out of out of the state coffer. 
Now all of a sudden you go, well, wait a minute. This is looking an awful lot like you're putting your old friends into positions where they can make a lot of money and have influence Mm -hmm. that they're not even qualified to have. Now that's not what happened here, but this is a situation where I don't care how far back they go. Sunshine doesn't exactly have a a big history of making large political donations. They don't at all. Hobbs all of a sudden gets elected. They make $400,000 worth of donations, and then they see about $7 million worth of state contracts kicked back their way. That looks fishy. But they're trying, it does, but they're trying, Hobbs is trying to make the case that she was a social worker. This is at the heart of what she cares about, what she does. She'd received an award from them before. Her quote says, as a social worker, I've seen firsthand the incredible impact your organization has in providing shelter, safety, and health care to Arizona children, and I'm proud to be a member of this giving community. But none of the other 52 organizations that asked for more money got that same treatment? Her office says that Sunshine was doing a a better job, that in certain areas they— they rose above the others. No, there's certain areas where they rose above is that they said, listen, if you don't give us the money, we're going to give the beds to um, uh, people who are here without documents. The department said it changed their mind as far as the uh, granting the, the increase in rates in May of 2023, which, of course, was after the inauguration. Uh, they expressed if it could not get a rate increase, it would prioritize beds for a federal refugee resettlement program instead of children in state custody. In other words, we're going to make this an immigration issue if you don't give us money. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't believe that. I think that's the cover they're using hmm. in order to try to make it so that people don't investigate them. I agree with you, though. This is it is largely boring. It's a numbers game, right? We're just shuffling numbers around and nobody cares. The other thing, too, is there is a level of crony capitalism I think we expect. Did you see the national news today where uh, uh, Clarence Thomas has now admitted that these trips that he was taking were actually paid for by the the Texas businessman Harlan Crow? Hmm. And that was suspected for a while. He amended his financial disclosure form to say, oh, yeah, he did do that stuff for me. And there may be outrage, especially on the left. There's going to be cover given on the right. And we go, yeah, but we expect that our politicians are bought and paid for. The fact that we see the sausage getting made doesn't shock us no like i'm not surprised by that i also think that these are the forgotten ones when we talk about foster kids i think these are the forgotten ones if this were public school system we go my god those are our kids but it's the foster program we go well it's yeah it's forgotten kids i don't think there's a lot of care and the idea that there's more money going into a system that's supposed to benefit foster kids Who's going to say, I want to make sure those kids don't get as much money in foster care? Nobody. They're looked at as less than. They are looked at as less than, but even when we give them more money, we go, okay, well, you know what? They're they're poor kids in an orphanage. You know, don't gonna- people really care about their kids? And then yes, beyond that, I do. they really don't care a lot about kids. They care about their kids. And let's also be honest about this, too. How many people in the Valley could name even one of the 50-plus agencies that provide for foster children? Very, very few. I could name zero. Prior to today... I couldn't name any. Zero, right? And I thought you made a great point, too. There's no smoking gun. We really don't have that smoking gun that connects Hobbs to these donations in a quid pro quo or a pay for play. Mays may be investigating this. Rachel Mitchell, the county attorney in in Maricopa County, may be uh, investigating this. We know that the legislature wants this investigated, but it's going to take a whistleblower, an eyewitness. It's going to take documentation and emails, something of that sort, recorded phone call Nixon, something. The closest thing that that I've seen in what AZ Central tried to lay out was that Sunshine said in a letter that it was operating in the red, so they were underwater to the tune of $4.5 million back in 2022. Yeah. And they were citing staffing issues, all kinds of increased service costs, but yet somehow you've got a private company earning money off the state that was able to donate $400,000 to the governor's political campaign. Right. Yeah. If you're in debt, $100,000, $100,000, do you make a $10,000 donation? Probably not. That, to you and me, I would certainly that. raised an eyebrow. If I was $10,000 in debt, I wouldn't be giving you a grand unless I thought I was going to get something back out of that. It was going to help my $10,000 problem. Yeah. Right? Thanks for watching The Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.